Hello. Today we're going to show you the importance of a vacuum check valve in a decentralized system and um, how it can help you in the uh, case of a power outage or an air outage. So what we have right now is we just have a typical ejector and cup set up and we're going to be using this plastic tray to define our airtight surface, be it glass, plastic or sheet metal. And I'll show you what happens when the air is on and the system is live versus when the air is then cut off in an emergency, an auto stop, power outage, or an air outage, for example. So you can see that we're able to hold it and maintain it while the air is running. Of course, that'll change once the air is turned off. We lose our part. Hi, today I want to show you the pneumatic output vacuum switch from Pia, part number 3116063. This vacuum switch has a very unique property. Instead of outputting to an electrical signal, as we're all used to, this one outputs to a pneumatic signal. This would be great in an operation where potentially you may not have electricity, or in a mobile application where you want to ensure that you have an accurate hold on the workpiece before moving it. So, let me give you a brief rundown of some of its features. So we have the three port configuration and this one is adjustable with a knob. It also comes in a configuration without the knob that just uses a set screw or it can also come in preset normally open or normally closed configurations as well. As stated earlier, it just utilizes the three ports. Port number one is gonna be for your pneumatic supply in and we have ours teed off and we're feeding our vacuum generator with the same pneumatic supply. Port number two goes to your pneumatic output device, be it a pneumatic eye, vac um, pressure gauge, or what have you. Port number three is what senses the vacuum. We have the addition of a digital vacuum gauge on here, so we can just demonstrate when we're achieving good vacuum versus not good vacuum. So the only thing that you re really, we really need to keep our eye on is red is no good, green is good. So when we do hit our achievable vacuum, that's going to turn green. And then we're going to see that good vacuum output as a pressure signal on the pressure gauge. So let me show you. We're gonna turn this on. We're gonna hit 20 inches and we're outputting on our gauge. Our threshold is set to 18, which I've adjusted on this knob. Once we drop below 18 inches, you're gonna see that we're gonna lose our vacuum signal there. So right now about 16.6. As we adjust it back up to 20, we're gonna regain our signal. So this is what the operator would see, and this is what's telling the operator that we are okay to now move our part. If you have any questions, about this vacuum switch or any of products that Piab offers, don't hesitate to give us a call over at GOT White. We're always happy to answer any questions that you may have. So that just concludes our quick demonstration of this product. I hope you have a wonderful day.